Hello, welcome to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. As you can see here on the desk, I got a puzzle. This is the Creality Falcon 2 Pro 22 watt laser engraver. It's good heavy unit. This is the base unit. Gantry's built inside of it already. Comes with a frame we have to assemble for a top. Uh, these are the lenses for it. In fact, I'm going to move these out of the way real quick before I damage them. Okay, it comes with your power supply cables, typical stuff, safety glasses, little tool kit. In the top, it has a camera. And on the front edge of the top, it has an LED light bar. Slide these out of the way here for a moment. It also comes with a tray that slides underneath it to uh, catch any debris. Again, necessary tools. And these little pieces here are your honeycomb. There's little slots cut in the bottom that you can put these in and space them out for your honeycomb. So we will put this in here real quick. Base is in. Let's start assembling the top. By the look of it, it should go together really quick. A couple of screws on this end. Get them started in there straight. The screw holes are countersunk very nicely. Let me spin this around. Take our other piece. And see the other side is notched for the USB for the camera. I've already had this thing completely opened and inspected everything so it all looks like it's good shape. It'll go together really quick. I mean, look at the owner's manual on this thing. Most cars don't come with manuals like that anymore. Mind you, it's all different languages, but still. It's a lot nicer to see a big manual like that than a little sheet of paper with a bunch of different languages on it. you got to try to decipher what's what. Okay, so the basic for the frame is together. Now you can see how this will go together. The frame is labeled on the front with the light and the fan, so you know which way it goes. But it will just sit just like that. And then the front slides in so you can open it and close it. So we will go to the back. And there is a thin sheet in the back. You have to work down and around. And it's just thin enough it slides straight on in. Straight into there, straight into there. To hold the back in place, there's this cross brace here, which is notched to hold it in place. You kind of work your way across the top like that, and that is in place. Couple of more screws. One in on this end so it doesn't pop off. That felt on the bottom edge of the top or the, the safety screen. Okay, so now we want to turn it around. Now we've got to put the sliding front in. And this is the front. And it will slide in the same way as the other one did. And it goes in just like that. Now here is the LED light. It goes in 
And on one end of the LED light, there is a switch to turn on the light. The other end, there is a switch to turn on the fan, or you can leave them both on automatic. And it's always good to start all of your screws before you tighten anything down. Just in case there's a slight discrepancy. Pull this one in here a little bit farther. Go to the other end. And one last screw and the top is technically together. Other than the side panels. We got to put side panels on. All right, so all four screws are in. So now I can snug them all down. Okay. So now you can see how this will work. This will sit on there. And then when we put the side panels on, it will actually screw to the base so the top cannot come off. And it's got magnets in the front edge of it, so it will not work with the lid open. It's a safety feature. But it'll slide all the way back, give you plenty of room to get in there to it. So, we will put the fan piece in next. There are one, two, three, four, five, six screws to hold the plastic to the frame. And then one, two, three, four to hold the, uh, on each side to hold the frame to the base. Okay, now we gotta come around and do the other side. Once I get this all put together, connected the light burn, the camera programmed. I will um, do some projects with it, a couple of slate coasters, see how it works on slate, get you guys settings that work the best for me on slate. Okay, and there is the top assembled. Now it will sit right up on there. I'll get it lined up properly. And get the wiring harness out. So then you can see exactly what it's gonna look like. Now what we've gotta do is connect our wiring. Down here in the lower corner is the main wiring. There is a harness on the corner of the lamp. And then your fan will run down this side and plug in right up here also. So give me a second. Let me get it. He's in here and plugged in. And we're ready to go. Our light bar harness plugs in. It is way up in there, it's hard to see. But that plugs in there. Then our fan comes down, a little two pin connector, plugs into the back end of the light bar. There we go. And then a cord for the fan, there's a little groove, you just run it right down inside the groove so it's out of the way. And the only thing left to do now is to install these. Okay, I took the top back off so you can see how these go in. They just drop into there and a corresponding slot on the other side. And if needed, you can move them out into these other slots if you have something that's a little wider. I think I'm going to give me an aluminum panel for the bottom. So if the laser does burn through, it doesn't burn into the bottom of the tray. Okay. 
for when I'm cutting thump something. Okay, there's your honeycomb. And like I said, these can be moved out if you have something that's a little bigger. You want to give a little bit extra support on the end, you can do that. Okay, so we got the power cord plugged in. We've got the USB cable set up to go to the computer. We've got the camera cable running around here to go to the computer. The last thing we've got to do is the air pump. And the air pump, it's got a port on the side and it is controlled by the machine itself. So it just plugs in there. And it's got a dial on the side so you can increase the airflow. And the last thing we're going to need is the key to turn it on. <whistles> Run through power on self test. And it runs home. And there we have it. 20, 30 minutes. It's put together. Very well made. I like the fact that the top slides all the way back so you can get into it. So next video, I'll come up with some projects we could test it out on. See what it does. We'll see how it cuts, how it engraves how it does on um, canvas and on slate. So follow along for the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Links for it will be down below. Check this thing out. Very well done. Thanks for watching. Talk to you all later.